those are the best for commercial settings. Welcome to One Way to Machines and the Vacuum Cleaner Informational Series. Right now, while I was doing some clean out at the store, I figured, you know what, maybe we can do some tests because these products haven't changed much over the years in terms of plastic thickness, and you can get a better idea of where your money's going. All right, so on the first asphalt smash after the bin smashes, you can see that just a couple of the covers are now coming off of this. These are extreme tests and nothing is even breaking, not even the clips. Now, one common misconception among people who buy commercial vacuums is that they think that the metal vacuums are stronger, Sanitaire, Filter Queen, stuff like that. This is not true. The plastics on these can endure a lot of abuse and these are far better machines. That's the important part. You see the metal on some of those commercial machines? They're not better machines. These are stronger. They have internal belts inside of the power heads, which don't require much maintenance. They have very good built roller brushes and the motors are very strong. These vacuums will give you 10 to 12 years of commercial or residential service with almost no problems at all. So they're completely worth the money. You just got to do some maintenance on them if you're a bit of an abuser with your stuff. Still no cracks. The cover came off, but still no cracks on either the cover or the actual vacuum cleaner. I could do this all day and this thing won't break. There's a reason why these are the Porsche of vacuum cleaners. Let's throw it on the ground a few times too. The only reason I hold it a certain way on the cover is because I have a business logo on the cover. It's not because I'm trying to hide a crack. Let's also get out one of the old upright vacuums here and do some tests with that too. So here's a SIBO Essential. This is an older model, but the newer line series are similar products. So let's do some plastic breaking tests with this one and see how it does. It may seem like this vacuum broke, but these actually separate at this point. So the plastics didn't break. The end of the vacuum over there, after some full force smashes into the pavement, you can see some of the plastic is ruptured, but keep in mind, this is a 20 plus year old vacuum here. And I'm throwing it with full power at this asphalt two times. And nobody really does that. These vacuums are extremely tough and you can see it from this very old commercially used model here. Let's do some more tests with the canister now. All right, so after many smashes of this vacuum, we finally have one crack that has developed in this area at the back here. These things are very tough. Excellent filtration, the best vacuums you can buy for your house. The only downside is they're a bit heavier. So if you're older, it's not very good. But if you're young and in shape, up to 50 years old, I'd say this 
any line of the SIBO canister vacuums is your best bet. If you do decide you want a lighter vacuum, you can buy a Miele vacuum, but there's a much higher chance that they're gonna break down a warranty and you have to take it to a shop to be repaired under warranty. But those units also have great suction and they're lighter. But if you want the absolute best, you buy a SIBO. Things are mostly just popping out. They're not really breaking. So any of the air belt models that you see, they're gonna be a good bet for your money. Those pieces you see on the ground there are from the upright, and that's a very old model. If you are going into commercial, I recommend you get the SIBO Felix models. Those are the best for commercial settings. Just remember that if you work in a place with salt, a vacuum cleaner is not a substitute for a carpet cleaner. Don't ever think you can pick up salt with the normal vacuum cleaner and not have problems down the road. I've got some old Miele vacuums here. Let's test the plastics on them too. All right, so this here is a high-end Miele model from its day. This is probably one of the better quality ones, better than what they even make today. So I'm going to smash this one. It's got all its screws and everything. You can see some of the caps are missing. And let's see what happens when we throw it around. We will do upside down first. As you can see, it has complete cracks in the middle on the cover that came off. The cover came off pretty clean, but it's not as strong as the SIBO vacuum. There's a lot of broken plastic pieces on the ground there too. On the actual canister portion, everything seems okay. That cover took the brunt of the blow, but we will do, you can see it popped out here too. There you go, folks. It snapped right in half. The motor fell out and a lot of plastic pieces broke off. So while this is a very popular product that is heavily advertised, SIBO is what you want to go for if you're a strong enough person to carry it up and down the stairs and drag it around your house. This is 75%, 80% of what a SIBO is, and it's much lighter. So in some applications, it's going to be better for some people. But look at all these cracks. Look at what happened to the shell. Here's the motor. Fell right out on that first drop on the bottom. All right, let's do a review here on the ground. We have that really old SIBO upright, which is not the one I recommend for commercial. I would say get a Felix. These are all pretty much you don't want them. These are all the pieces from that Mila that we just had. They shattered all over the place. Everything from the red SIBO canister though that broke off in all our tests, it's all intact. This is from that old SIBO upright. You can see that the gasket kind of separated. And like I said, with SIBO power heads, the belts are internal, so the chances of damage are much lower. Mila power heads, you can see some, some models in there. I still got some in the van here, older ones to dispose. The power heads, the electric power heads are prone to failure. They're not as strong as the SIBO ones, but if you have a very clean house, you can probably get away with them. So the price differences between SIBO and Mila aren't a big deal. The weight is the main thing. Suction wise, I would say they're on par. SIBO is a little bit stronger, but it's not something that noticeable. So I hope some of this vacuum experience and knowledge was helpful to you guys. And I'll try to do more in depth stuff instead of just smashing vacuums on the ground.